Hi. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to declare a user-defined function and then to use that function in an assignment rule. So let's start by bringing up the uh, user-defined functions, which you'll find under the View menu. So on the right-hand side, you'll see the current list of user-defined functions. These are ones that we get you get for free, the mod function and two random number generators, a uniform and a normal random number generator, generator functions. So what I'm going to do here is declare a new function called sawtooth, which unsurprisingly will be used to create a sawtooth waveform. I can put in a description, uh, call it sawtooth wave function, and underneath that I, I put the function itself. Now I'm going to get this function from a Janak model that I have. I'll just cut and paste it there. I right click here and paste and there's my sawtooth function. Now this sawtooth function has two arguments, time and period. So when I hit add, you'll see on this side that the function is sawtooth bracket time comma period. And then that's the function itself. Okay, so I've defined the function now. I just need to remember that it, the two arguments are time and period. I'll close. I'll create a node, a boundary node, because I'm going to set an assignment rule onto the boundary node. I'll go back to the view menu, pick up assignment rules, and then here I can now uh, define an assignment that assigns the sawtooth function to node 0. So I just go sawtooth and remember the arguments were time followed by some period. Well, let's give it a period of, uh, I don't know, 1.5. Okay. Uh, time is a variable I get for free. It's part of the simulation uh, backend. I add this and the right hand side shows me the current list of assignments. I click close. I then bring up uh, the time course simulation, bring up the graphical output. Now I have to remember, uh, at the moment you'll notice there's nothing nothing on the y-axis and I need to select node 0 because node 0 is basically my output so if I pick uh, the boundary species node 0, select that. So now you see I have node 0 down there and I just run it and I get a sawtooth. Okay, thanks very much.